There was a young basketball fan once. He wanted his team to make it to the tourney. And so he went to this coach, right? And he told the coach, I want to be on the same level that you're on. And the coach said, If you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the Spokane River. The young man got there at 6 a.m. He already to rock and roll. And the old man grabs his hand and asks him, How bad do you want to beat St. Mary's? He said, Real bad. So the coach said, Walk out in the water. So the kid walks out in the water. He walks out in the water and the coach tells him to go waist deep. And he's like, Man, this guy's crazy. The kid like, hey man, I want the Zags to win the conference, but why you got me out here swimming? I didn't ask to become a lifeguard. I want to make the tourney. But the coach got him in. He said come out a little farther, so the kid walked out a little farther. He had him up to his shoulders. The kid's like, this guy's crazy. I mean, he got a lot of wins, but he's crazy. The coach like, come out a little farther, and the water's around his mouth, and my man is like, I'm about to go back in. This guy is out of his mind. The old man said, I thought you wanted to beat St. Mary's. I thought you said you wanted to be part of the best student section in the nation. And he was like, I do. He said, walk a little farther. And he dropped his head in and he held him down, hold him down. The young man's kicking and scratching, holding him down. He had him held down. And just before my man was about to pass out, he raised him up and said, I have a question for you. He told the guy, he said, when you want to win WCC as bad as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. I don't know how many of y'all have asthma here today. If you ever had an asthma attack before, had shortness of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing, the only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no Facebook, you don't care what's on ESPN, you don't care about people calling you, you don't care about no party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You want to compete with the camera crazies? You think you're louder than the zoo crew, than the Izone? You say you're one of the top student sections in the country? You want Gonzaga to get past the Sweet 16? Fool, you guys can't even beat BYU. Some of you want to sleep more than you want success. I'm here to tell you today that if you're going to be successful, you got to be willing to give up sleep. you got to be willing to work off of three hours of sleep, two hours of sleep. If you really want to be successful, some days you're going to have to sleep outside three days in a row. Because if you sleep in your dorm, you might miss the opportunity to be part of the best student section in the nation. That's how bad you got to want it. You gotta go days without, you gotta wanna be so successful, so bad that you forget to eat. I'll never forget, when Adam Morrison was a sophomore at Gonzaga, when he wasn't at practice, he was shooting at the gym. And when he wasn't shooting, he was working out. And people said, when do you sleep, Morrison? And he said, sleep? He said, sleep is for those people who are broke. I don't sleep. I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. Don't call it quits, you're already in pain. You already hurt, get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. 
Listen to me. I'm here to tell you today that you can come here. You can jump up and down. You can make posters. You can be excited when they give away t-shirts. But listen to me. You will never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. You will not be successful until you say, I don't need that trophy. Because I got it in here.